The symbol for momentum is, is a vector quantity, so it has a bold face, and it's P, either big P or little p. I have no idea why impulse or momentum, it's just got that symbol P. I mean, why has current got a symbol I? I mean, we just run out of letters after a while and make something up. I've got a track here made by George, and first of all, I want to show you that you can get a ball rolling down the slope, and when it's level, it has a constant momentum. Whee! And now, the one on the left is winning, the one on the left, and they're slowly going up the slope, and I didn't do that properly because uh, they should have arrived at the same time, but it's not perfect. Now then, I'm going to put several balls in a row. There's another one over there, excuse me, can I uh, adjust my balls? These four balls are just touching, and I'm going to get this other ball to come in and hit it with certain momentum. The, the momentum is going to be transferred down the chain of balls and this one will fly off. But people buy Newton's cradle and the thing swings down and the other one comes off. So I just want to show you the effect of momentum on this and you can see what happens. And these move forward a little bit and then that rolls back. There's a loss of a bit of energy as they smack together because some sound comes out. So that's what happens if you have these steel balls in a row. Now we're going to take this neodymium magnet, really strong magnet, and put it in the front so the ball will now come down and smash into this and transfer the momentum through. Only it's a very strong magnet, as you can see, it just sucks them all together. And so they're now all in a row. I'm about to take this away, the ball will roll down and hit into this magnet, and then I'd like you to film particularly what happens afterwards. Wow! <laughs> wow! Anyway, that works because this is such a strong magnet. Now this one on the end, I can pull off quite easily, as you can see, it's not stuck so strongly. This one, <coughs> I can't take off easily. There's a very, very, very strong force that pulls this in, and as it gets closer, um, yeah, it's suddenly pulled in. And so you get a tremendous acceleration just as it hits it. And it comes in with much higher speed than you imagine because of the magnetic attraction. The one on the other end is not stuck so strongly. I can take it away quite easily. The next one is, is just about possible. So as it rolls down the slope, it gets to a nice reasonable speed and rolls along here with a constant momentum. But when it comes towards that, magnet. It suddenly gets pulled in dramatically and it has much more of a momentum as it arrives because a force gives a change to the momentum and accelerates it, smashes in there and that momentum is transferred to this ball. When, when this one leaves, why wasn't it pulled back to the magnet cancelling out the ah. original? Yes, you would have thought that it would have done that, and if you put less on, they, it will do something like that. But what happens is that the magnetic field here is very strong, weaker here, weaker here, and weaker there, so it can easily break away. So as it comes in, it pushes this, they all go forward a bit, but this one breaks away at high speed. So what's happened is there's a change in the momentum, but also this comes in with enormous energy. So the particle that comes off has enormous energy as well, so it's much, much faster than you would think. If you film this backwards, it would seem more realistic because you would have a particle coming in, hitting that, and something dribbling out at the other side. Because it's the other way around, it looks stunning as though it's filmed in reverse, but it's not. That's how it was done. You were a witness, you saw it. We could do it again if you want. What you see when it's played back really slowly is the particle coming in very slowly, sedately, and then suddenly, just as it approaches the magnet, it suddenly accelerates and becomes a blur because it's sucked in so hard because this is such a strong magnet. And it's that sudden impulse, that sudden kick that it's getting from the magnetic field, pulling it in, that leads to the other particles flying off. You can see that if I let that come in here and smash, there's a lot of work that I have to do to pull that off. I mean, I am an old man, but you know, this is just about doable, pulling it away. It requires a lot of work, and it's that work 
that you'd have to do to get this to be a perpetual motion machine that's going to kill you because this work is too much and that doesn't get all that energy coming out the other side. So it seems as though you're getting something for nothing, but the problem is you've got to pull the balls off. <laughs>